Do you easily want to switch between notes in LogSec, but you have a smaller screen so that makes it a little difficult to dual pane? Or do you want to find some better options to look at for task management? In this video, we're going to talk about two different plugins for LogSec, the Tabs plugin and the Kanban plugin, and see what they're all about, see if there may be something you need to add to your workflow. So LogSec has changed a little bit since we last took a look at it. Let's see how we go install these plugins. First, you want to make sure you go to Settings, advanced and make sure the plugins system is on. I believe previously you had to turn on developer mode, but that I believe is no longer the case. Mine is on by default. This is a new install. After that, go to the three dot menu here, go to plugins. By the way, if you want to know what theme I'm using, I'm using the Quattro dark theme. I need to go down to the three dot menu and plugins, click over to marketplace, and then you can either search or you can just navigate through here. The one, uh, one of the ones I want is right here. It is called tabs. And I don't know what happened there, but we'll figure it out momentarily. The other one I want is Kanban. So escape, and I'm trying to change that back. I don't know what happened. It is terrible on my eyes as well. So now that we've done that, I think we do have to enable these. They are enabled by default. One note, what I didn't notice until just before this video is there's actually a little button right over here and you can open settings for these. So here are some settings for the tabs plugin. While the settings for the Kanban plugin is not in this pretty menu like this, it's just gonna open a text file of some kind that just has an option of if it's enabled or not, or disabled rather, I think it's disabled. Uh, so you can say that it's disabled true there and it'll not work anymore. The tabs plugin is pretty easy to see. Previously, if you held control and clicked on a page, you would have it open up in a new pane. This works really well on my 21.9 screen, but here on a 1080p or well, 4K screen on a 16.9 doesn't quite work as well. Now I've got this main page open. I can click over to this tab. I can click over to this tab. And you notice if you double click these tabs, you will pin them. So I'm going to go on and pin the 20 second here because we may need that. If you pin a tab, it's actually not going to let you change it or close it or anything. And now we'll go ahead and go over to our tabs. But yes, so if you middle click this tab, it'll close. You can obviously close all, you can close this up here, but it's just simple things that you can do and have these opened up. It doesn't look like I can actually open up the journal page as a tab. It looks like it's kind of or can I do this maybe? Nope, I can't actually do that. So I guess the journal page is some sort of, uh, some sort of page of blocks or something. I have three tabs open now, the one I am in currently, and then the two Kanban pages that we're gonna create here. If you're looking for more of the options that the tabs plugin can do, I would encourage you to check out the GitHub page for this particular plugin. The link for that is in the description. Let's create some Kanban boards from here. What we want to do is we want to say forward slash and then just type Kanban and press enter. It's going to bring that up. If I press enter, it's going to look like nothing happened. I need to tab in and type data. And then I need to press enter again and tab in again. And this is the point where I can actually start typing my categories here. So for this, I'm going to do start, middle, end. And if I wanted to add cards to the start, I would say first card. If I could spell correctly, that would be amazing. Second card, third card. There we go. And that would be those. So one of the big downsides I have about the Kanban plugin as it currently is, is you can't actually go up and drag these cards across. As far as I can tell, the only thing you can do is to cut and then paste your notes around. You can do things like add in a page reference, but it doesn't actually link or anything. It's not like the Obsidian plugin where you can move cards around, where you can create notes from your cards and things like that. Especially when you're not using the to-do method I don't really know how useful this particular section is, but let's go to the other version here. We have a Kanban task, and this one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna do the same thing and say slash, slash Kanban, and then I do tab and data again, or tab and then task. 
And so it'll automatically have to do, doing, and done. So if I say to do, task one, to do, task two, to do, task three. So now this is a bit more useful here because I can go and I can click the to do, it's gonna change it to doing and it'll automatically update there or I can check the box and make it done and it'll move over here. So this is to me is a lot more useful just as a visualization tool than it is for the other method that we see here where I kind of make up my own sections of this, my own lanes. The cool thing is if you have a query and I do not have a query handy, unfortunately, so I can't just show you this, but in the GitHub page, you can see this is something where they were able to use a query to actually have all of this being populated from another page. So if you have a query that's just gonna give you your task, that would be something where you could have that query updating this page. But then also, if you were looking at another page and you updated one of these tasks, that could actually let you have the Kanban board update. I do think it's kind of cool that this particular aspect works. It would be awesome if I can move these cards around just like I could in the Obsidian plugin, or if I could create notes from these cards like I could in the Obsidian plugin. But as is, this is a little bare bones. It's a nice visualizer if that's something you're needing. Like I say, I think the best use case for this right now is to hook this up to a query and update task that way and then you can use the Kanban board kind of as an overall picture of where your tasks actually are. What do you think? Are these plugins that you want to use in LogSec? Do you have any other plugins that you prefer? The plugin system has come a long way since I first looked at this, so I want to keep checking in on plugins and just see how these mature because LogSec is an awesome program and the plugins that they add to it are only gonna extend that functionality even more. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great day and I will see you next time.